All happy families are alike, but each unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Oh, quick! Hard, children! Behave now! Don't run all over the place! Risha! Come down! Leave your coat down! Help me, please. She's getting sick. Give it to me. Shh, darling, darling. I'm going on the cart first. No, 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 no. Yes, madam. Don't run! Don't run up the stairs! Let's go get the dolls. Tanya, stop running on the stairs! We want to get her dolls! Steve, darling, we're I home! I wanted to go first. And don't fight! Don't fight! Please. I'll push Katya? Katya? Mom? Put him on the bed. Here's a temperature. Right away. I'll be right back. says that Dolly wants to leave him. She won't do that. Women well, never do that. No, of course not, but you know, they must start talking again, loving each other. Don't you agree? About what? Why don't you come too, Alexei? We haven't had any time together for so long now. Anna, you want me to hold the work of the state because of your brother's wins? Forgive me. Go there. Do as you see fit. I knew you would understand. Sir? Oh. I finished the list. I need you to make some copies of these three. Mama? Seriosha. Anushka told me you were leaving. Mm, yes. But I'll be back soon, my angel. I'll be back soon. <laughs> what is the secret of a happy family? At that time, I was naive enough to think I knew. And I felt sure that to secure my happiness, I must marry the girl I'd always loved. Princess Katerina Shabatsky. My beloved Kitty. Whose radiant beauty lit up everything and everyone around her. And yet, here I was. Dull, shy, and awkward. No, I was not worthy of her. Kostya! 
I didn't know you were in town. Have you been back long? Not long. Since yesterday. Today, I mean, I, I just arrived. I wanted to come and call on you. My father will be happy to see you. He won't be the only one, I hope. No, I'm sure he won't be. I find you much improved. Thank you. On the skates, I mean. Oh, yes. If you hadn't broken off our lessons to leave a year ago, I'd be much better. I'm sorry. We could pick up from where we left off if you want. How long will you be here? I don't know yet. What do you mean you don't know? Well, I don't know. Depends on you. Mother, I'm sorry, I have to go. See you tomorrow evening at the ball. Yes. It was at that moment as she turned to look at me that I made a decision. I would propose to her that very evening. I had no idea that her heart was set on someone else. A man whose mere presence turns every woman's head. Not only my kitties. Come along, quick, the train is coming. Yes, ma'am. Countess, I believe this is yours. Try to be more careful. What have you lost it? What would I do then? Sorry, mother. Forgive me. Thank you, Count Bronstein. Are you leaving too? No, I'm um, waiting. Who is the lucky woman? <laughs> My mother. Ah. Bon voyage. Thank you. Alexei? Mother! Did you have a good journey? Oh, yes. I was in delightful company. Anna Arkadyevna, Karenin's wife. Do you know him? Siva? Yes. Yes, there she is. Ah, you found your brother, I see. <laughs> Dear son. Yes. Your brother I know, but we've not met him. Throughout the journey, all we did was talk about sons. Why about mine? Can't ask about hers. Oh, that must have been very boring for you. I know, but now you're here, I'm sure that you'll help me solve this situation. Do you know Count Vonsky well? Of course I know him. He is the heart of every woman in Moscow. But he's seen so often at the Sherbatsky home that he'll no doubt propose to young Kitty. Um, really? Mm-hmm. She's become an adorable girl. Now, tell me about your dolly. Well, uh, she hasn't spoken to me for days now, but it will be different with you. Don't try to comfort me or talk to me about Christian forgiveness. I don't want to defend Steva. I'm worried about you, about you both. It's over. Between your brother and me, it's over. Do you think he's ashamed? He's happy and content. No, Dolly, dear, you're wrong. He... he went out last night, you know, and he bought dinner for everyone, as usual. And look at the state of our home. Just look at it. Yeah, all right. Steve is a little fickle, superficial. Men like him are unfaithful. And it's shameful, despicable. But it doesn't mean anything. 
For them, their wives are sacred. The others, those women, are the ones they look down on. I don't understand it, but that's how it is. I found them here. You understand? In our bedroom. In our bed. Anna! Anna! Who on earth are you? It's me, Tanya. I don't recognize you. How you've grown. Did you bring us presents? Yes. Did you? Uh, only for those obedient enough to let me talk to your mother. Come on. Oh, please. Later then. Think of them. That's all I ever do. If you still love Steve a little, enough, just enough to forgive him, then forgive him. Would you forgive him, Anna? Take the bags inside. Kitty! How did you ever manage it? I saw my sister and Steve are downstairs. They were talking again. I didn't think it was possible to reconcile them. You're young. One day you will realize that love is all powerful. You're enchanting. Do you know that? Not as much as you. <laughs> Years ago, perhaps. Now your time has come. Ah, Kitty, are you here? Don't disturb Anna, please. She's not disturbing me. We were talking about love. So you wanted to see me? I need some advice. Wait here. I'll be right there. Yes, ma'am. Aunt Kitty, I want to see too. Which one? We're only a few hours from the ball, and I can't make my mind up. Oh, they're all beautiful. You look lovely in any of them. This one. The colour is better suited to your complexion. <sighs> Count Fronsky will be bewitched. Steve told me everything. Mother says that tonight... It will be the most beautiful ball of your life. You come too, won't you? I better not. My husband isn't here, and I want to write to my son. Seriosa, how is he? Forgive me, I never even asked. He's well. I've an album of photos. Would you like to see? Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, I'd love to. I left it down. The presents, I'll fetch it.
never guessed what happened. He was here. Who? Bronsky. Oh, really? He must have called on Kitty at our parents' house. They probably told him to come here, and when he realized we had a guest, he must have decided not to bother us. Yes, I suppose you're right. And the album? Uh, pardon? The album with the photos of your son. I forgot it. Oh, my dear, you must be tired. Go and rest. Come on, Kitty. Tell me about this night. Kitty. Come this evening, too. I better not. Please, my sister can't come. I need you there, at least. Look, <laughs> I remember the night your father asked me to marry him. I was still a child, like you. Yes? Excuse me, a visitor for the young princess. Oh, Count Volsky? I'm not sure, Highness. He didn't introduce himself. <laughs> Perhaps he just wanted to surprise you. <laughs> well, usually men propose during the great Viennese waltz. Oh, he just couldn't wait. Go, go. <laughs> I'm here a little too early, I think. But after all, this is what I wanted. To see you alone. Please. Mother will be here soon. She heard somebody was... I told you that I didn't know how long I would be here. That it depended on you. Katharina, will you become my wife? That can't be. Forgive me. Uh, uh. Yes, of course. It couldn't be otherwise. Kitty! Constantine, am I interrupting something? Uh, no, nothing. Kitty, I've been looking for you everywhere. Alexei is here. He's right outside. I'm going to ask him to come in. Kitty. Alexei. Konstantin Levin, Count Alexei Vronsky. We were supposed to have lunch together last winter, but you left suddenly for the country. <laughs> Konstantin disdains the city and us city dwellers. Well, the countryside is so beautiful, but when it's so alone, don't you get bored there? I never get bored with myself. Hmm. You granted me the first quadrille, or am I mistaken? You are not mistaken. fellow that acquaintance of yours. He's just shy. I had the impression he wanted to kill me. <laughs> no, he's too kind.
What a fool I'd been. Deep down I'd always known it. Kitty was too good for me. Too perfect. Unattainable. And I would never be happy. A quadrille is always amusing, don't you think? I prefer the great Viennese waltz. Of course. Ah, General Sepulyovsky. I haven't seen him for a while. I need to talk to him. Will you excuse me? Yes. Princess Shabatsky, will you grant me the honor of the great Viennese waltz? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm already taken. And what about me, Princess? Franka, will you grant me an embrace? I hadn't noticed you. Of course not. You only had eyes for him. And, well, has he declared his intentions? He'll do it during the great Venus waltz. Of course, by the rules. <laughs> from St. Petersburg used to those of the Tsar's court. Indeed. Even so, I haven't attended any for a long time. Why, of course. A woman like you doesn't need them to get herself noticed. Did you get what you came for? My brother has made up with his wife. Fine. So you will leave then. Happy? Happy, yes. Dance with me, please. If I didn't know he was going to ask for your hand, I'd say he's courting her. W what do you mean? Anna's just a friend. So tell me, when did you get back? Yesterday, but only for three days. There's so much to do. Will you grant me the honor of the great Beanie's waltz, Princess Zivatsky? I'm sorry, I'm already taken. <clears throat> I hate the great Viennese waltz. I'd be delighted if you didn't ask me to dance either. <laughs> and how early in the evening did Bronsky book you to steal you from this army of suitors? He hasn't asked me yet, but he'll dance with me, I'm sure. You'd better move closer, then. The great Viennese walls is the next dance. Go. Yes. I understand. At least allow me to thank you for coming. You mustn't. I didn't come because of you. Of course not. But one could hope it. I say. One question. Do you remember the name of the last man you danced with?
have to go. Please stay. I can't. When will I see you again? Never again. I return to St. Petersburg tomorrow. I'm sorry, madam. Leave that. See to the other things. Can I help you? I can manage. Is everything all right? You seem strange. I'm not strange. I'm evil. Evil? You? You saved my marriage, Anna. God only knows what would have happened if you hadn't come. Vronsky wouldn't have danced with me instead of Kitty, that's what. Disappointment helps you grow. It's better that everything should have fallen apart between them. If one dance was all he needed to fall in love with you, don't you think? I have to leave. Talk to Kitty, please. I've made an enemy of her. An enemy? That's impossible. Kitty, unlock the door. Kitty. After Kitty's rejection, even the idea of returning to my life in the country sickened me. I hope for one thing, to receive news of a marriage to Vronsky. I thought this would ease my pain, like having a tooth pulled. You're back early, sir. There's nothing to keep me there. What about your brother? Did you see him? Put out the fire here. Do it. And in all the other rooms in this wing. We won't heat the house anymore, just the part we live in. You used to say that this way your dear parents still seemed alive to you, God rest their souls. That's nonsense. They're dead. And I'll never have a family like theirs. and ask him to open this. I already asked him, madam. He said it's not possible. The windows are jammed by the ice. God willing, I'll be home tomorrow. Are we there? Fueling station. Did you see him too? Who? Oh. Him, Count. Oh, um, nobody. I'm going to get some air. I'm stifling in here. You'll catch a chill. Can I do anything for you? What are you doing here? I'm coming with you. No, I don't want you to. I ask nothing from you. I have to be where you are. You're mad. Baby, but when you want me, I'll be there. Please, let's forget all this. Could you? 
I can't forget anything about you. Madam, we're here. Alexei! Oh, Anna. my love. I'm so happy to see you. You were only away two days. Excuse me, it's just that I missed you so much. Take me home. Did you have a good night? Yes, quite comfortable, thank you. Uh, Count Vronsky? His Excellency Karenin, my husband. You leave with a mother, return with a son. Yes. I have news. There are rumors that the Tsar is going to name me High Commissioner for Ethnic Minorities. Oh, really? That's wonderful. I hope to have the honor of calling on you. Well, we're always at home on Mondays. This is the trickiest time. The smallest mistake could ruin anything. Oh, Sarayuja. I'm sorry to disappoint you. He didn't miss you at all. Unlike your husband. Did I already tell you you are the most handsome boy in the world? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Were you sad without me? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit? <laughs> <laughs> well then, how's your brother and his wife? Wait for me in your room. We'll open the presents together. Well, he asked to be forgiven. She's decided to forget. It was very moving. Would have ended that way anyway. You wouldn't have needed to go. I did well to go. They were about to separate, and now they love each other even more than before. I know. Love is all good and well for pampering little children, but to hold a family together takes more than that. It's time for dinner. By the way, Countess Ivanova will be joining us. I was hoping we'd be alone. She needs me for one of her good deeds. I couldn't deny the invitation. <laughs> we were more than impressed by what you did. All that time and effort. Quite incredible, don't you think? The institutions. Inconvincible. Do you remember my proposal for assisting the orphans? How could I forget such a grand proposal? Yes, precisely. Could you believe that the committee has forgotten all about it? Oh, I'm so tired of setting a good example. Ah, don't worry. I'll talk to the minister. It will all work out in the end. Alexei, you're a saint. You must be proud to be married to His Excellency. It's thanks to men like him that our Russia has such a glorious empire. Mama, will you come and read me a story? Of course, darling. Excuse me. You're too good to that child. You deny him nothing. You're right, Countess. You would surely be a more exemplary mother. Good night. Good night.
Shall we? I'll go out of my mind if I stay here. But why on earth with the wounded, for heaven's sake? At least I'll be useful to someone. Well, we have many hospitals here, if you really want to do charity. Why Germany? Because no one knows me there. Oh. Your sister wants to go off to Germany with her friend Varenka to volunteer in a military oh, hospital. You and your fancy dances, you see. This is what happens. How could I know? How could I know? What do you expect when you invite these upstarts, these cocky bastards, no. into the house? Some fellow who plays the swimming Romeo with that Karenan woman under my own roof. Oh, Father, calm down. <sighs> Devastating, my kid, here like this. Come, come. It's distressing for you two, I know. What are we going to do? I'll talk to Kitty. Yes, Do yes. that. It upsets me to see you suffer like this. I don't need compassion. If a man doesn't love me, I'm not so stupid as to suffer because of him. And what about Levin? Steve told me that he asked you to marry him. Why, well, you're tormenting me. You want me to suffer like you? I would never stay with a man who betrays me and loves another woman. I, I didn't mean to upset you. Uh, Dolly, wait. Please, forgive me. I, I didn't mean it. I'm stupid. So stupid. You're young. Just young. And you're lucky to be so. No, I'm not. I become horrible. Also, persuade Father to let me leave. I beg you. Here I feel I'm suffocating. Alexei, I've never seen that woman before. Do you know who that woman is? How long will you keep insisting? Until I appear ridiculous. That won't happen. You're ridiculous when you court a free woman in vain. A man who risks his own life to lure a woman into an adulterous affair has something majestic. My life is just a game for me. Are you sure? Positive. Of all my lovers, not one of them ever followed me from Moscow to St. Petersburg in the heart of winter, putting his army career at risk. Betsy, I merely asked for a transfer. I'm worried about you, my little cousin. I told you, it's just the game. Everything's a game. The point is, what will you stake to win? Thank you, madam. Here you are, madam. Mm. 
Don't worry, he never looks at you. Listen, if I've aroused your hopes, please forgive me. I'm a married woman. Anna, you are guiltless. You have every right to be alive. Mind. Desired. Damn soup. What, that's it? I want more! More! I asked for water an hour ago. You're right, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. Can I get some help over here? Coming. Here are the bandages. Watch out, watch out. God, did I scold you? <gasps> it would have been nice to feel that. Leave it. I'll finish here. Go. You all right? Don't you want to go out, like the others? To do what? I don't know. Get some fresh air, some sun. I'd rather remember how it used to be. to drive it. Shall we find out together? War is never over. You and I aren't at war. I'm here because of the war. You? To help. A young noble woman leaves her palace and comes to look after a cripple. To help. What are you running from? Wrongdoing, debt, love. Forgive me. Would you tell me your name? Katarina. But everyone calls me Kitty. Friedrich. Whatever the reason you are here, I'm happy you are. You're the most beautiful thing I've seen since I left home.
What are you doing here? I w was waiting for you to wake up. Do you have to leave? No. Mama would never leave you. Excuse me, madam. Mm. There's a visitor. If it's Lydia Ivanovna, I say that I'm indisposed. No, she's already here. It's that man, Count Vronsky. But what an orphan needs above all is a stable environment, and that is exactly what an institution would provide. What about the emotional needs of the child? Should they not be considered? And do not forget that if the relatives are willing to provide a home, then they will be saving the state considerable costs. Ah, Anna, there you are. Please, Lydia. You remember Count Vronsky? Count? He quickly made the best of our Mondays at home. Madam, tea? No. Well, you know, Alexei, costs are calculated over the long term. I'd be curious to know what Your Excellency's wife thinks. Countess Ivanovna says that orphans must always be placed in institutions. Your husband with family members who are still alive. What do you say? Anna was an orphan herself. She cannot have an impartial view of the matter. Well, on the contrary, that makes her better qualified to speak than any of us. Your mother told me that you too lost your father at an early age. That's true. But my mother is worth two fathers. <laughs> if I had lost her too, I would have liked to decide on my life for myself. I don't agree. After the death of my parents, my brother and I were entrusted to an aunt. She fed us, brought us up, and introduced me to my husband. I could never have made a better choice. that Vronsky had discarded Kitty simply to pursue Anna, my humiliation was complete. No one more pass. Yes, sir. We've nearly finished sewing. All we can do now is place our hopes in God. Come on. It hasn't rained for weeks. I felt persecuted by a mysterious power. That power that the peasants called God. That power that had taken Kitty from me, and that was at this very moment drying up my fields. I decided I would fight back. If the water won't come from the sky, we'll take it from the earth. We'll build a mill to bring up the water from the well. And we'll irrigate our own fields. There'll be no more poor seasons. No more meager harvests. No more hunger for you and your families. Let's not wait for God to provide that which we can take for ourselves. Vasily. Yes, sir. What we need to do is pull it around. Kitty. Captain Brenner has asked for you. All right. Again. There is something I didn't tell you. I'm married. You weren't obliged to tell me. I need your help. My wife is here. I saw her waiting in the line with the other relatives of the missing. She's looking for me. I'll bring her right away. No, don't. I can't. She didn't want me to leave. I was looking for God knows what in the war. And now she will be ashamed of me. No, I'm sure. Tell her I'm not here. I need time. Will you do that for me?
Excellent. You're jealous. The people here only have eyes for you. Not for me. For the spouse of the future High Commissioner. Thank you, madam. Are you looking for someone, Anna? Me? No. <laughs> Listen to me. Count Vronsky is my very dear cousin. I'm worried about him. Your situation is increasingly scandalous. Our situation? Madam, your hope. Thank you. Everyone is talking about it. About how he left Moscow to follow you. How Princess Shabatsky has fled to Germany in grief. Kitty? Yes. To work as a voluntary nurse. Persuade Alexei that it's madness. That he must return to Moscow and focus on his military career. He's throwing it all away. Do you understand? Oh, listen, you're making this up. I'm at home tomorrow. Come. You'll be able to talk in total discretion. No, I can't. I beseech you. Only you can resolve this embarrassing situation. Unless you love him. In that case, you definitely shouldn't come. Love him? What are you saying? I'll expect you then. Excellency. Princess. Would you excuse me? Of course. didn't help. Maybe not today. She will come. I'm warning you. Anna has already disappointed many suitors. Her husband doesn't deserve her, but she is too generous to betray him. I wonder if I deserve her. <laughs> if I didn't know you, I'd say you'd lost your head over her. Princess? Anna? Anna? Anushka, do you know where your mistress is? Yes, it is. Your husband. 
Excellency. What an honor. Princess. Unfortunately, I won't be able to stay very long. Ah, oh, here you are. They told me you would be here. I've come to fetch you. There was no need. I'm afraid there is. I've invited the minister to dinner. You'd be wise to hurry. I understand. Goodbye, Princess. Your receptions are always so colorful. Shall we go? No. What was that, my dear? I'm not coming. I've already accepted Betsy's invitation to dinner. Oh, please, Excellency. Don't take Anna away from us. You have her every day, but we see her so rarely. Yes, of course. If you wish. I need to talk to you. Sorry, I'm terribly sleepy. The minister regretted your absence. I'll make up for it the next time we invite him. Late. I have to warn you. About what? Your conversation with Count Ronsky attracted attention. Are you jealous? My jealousy would be offensive for you and humiliating for me. Offensive? So offend me. Offend me. Make me feel like I matter to you. I find such a thing humiliating. Not humiliating, sincere. Say what, what you feel for me, what your emotions are. We are talking are. about your behavior. Not my emotions, not even yours, which I don't want to enter into. I'm obliged to remind, remind you. you of your duties. Yeah. It's late.
Which man can say that he's happy with his life? I certainly could not. So I dragged the peasants into an obsession, telling myself that I was doing it for their good, because the fields would be more fertile, because then they would be happy. In fact, I was doing it only for myself, as not to submit to that mysterious power. But my thoughts always returned to Kitty. For she, like me, was trying to escape an obsession. But the truth is, our obsession somehow always managed to catch up with us. Just a moment. La dans ton cœur. La douceur sont pareils. La douceur Excuse sont pareils. Say there is no reply. Very well, madam. Where were we? La douceur sans pareil. La douceur sans pareil. Et de miel que fait le beignet. Yes, dear? Could you bring me the book on Peter the Great to my study? The second volume. Yes, of course. Uh, dans le temps qui viendra. Dans le temps qui viendra. Montre nous. It passes apart,
I'm a god. No. My love. What is it? to me now. Do you understand? Yes. I've no longer anyone. Anyone but you. Remember that. Remember that. Here we go. Thank you. Something wrong? I shall have to leave soon. It's a good thing. Your wife is waiting for you. I don't want to go back to her, Kitty. Don't worry. Look, I have an estate in the north. Feels a good return. Please come with me. We'll be happy far from here and from whatever it is you're fleeing. I just wanted to help him by lying to his wife. He asked me to. And why did you accept? You know, you didn't want to lose a man who needs you, admires you. Loves you. That's why. Kitty, whether your life is spent in palaces or military hospitals, don't live it out of vanity to earn the admiration of others. Or it will never be your life. my life. I was ashamed of it. As of an ugly dress that no one wanted. And you, having you to take care was so beautiful that I deluded you. Just as I've been deluded. Forgive me. Love will remain an illusion, not the rest. You never shuddered. You took care of me. You listened to me. Not some professional nurse. You, young and beautiful as you are, you made me feel precious. Even reduced to this, a rap that my wife will never want to see again. Let her decide. It was fine. It has to be the well. It must be running dry.
mechanics are all intact. Let's dismantle the mill. We'll dig a deeper well and build it again. Start right now. Enough of this madness, sir. We drive the well up. We have to get water for ourselves from other villages. And we haven't harvested the grain yet. We haven't watered enough. The harvest will be poor. Let's be content with that. Let's harvest it. Or the little we have will be lost to you. I refuse to be content with it. Get out of me. No, sir. I said, get out of my way. No. and bad ones. And but we aren't the ones who decide. As I was harvesting, I lost all sense of time. It was as if I wasn't moving the scythe, but instead the scythe was moving me. It was my first happy moment in months. For the first time, I could not feel that mysterious power opposing me. I felt it changing me. story. You're a big boy now, Serioja. Hmm? Please. So be a good boy. Go Aww. back to bed. That's the first time I've seen you deny him something. Really? It's just that he's older now. That's all. Yes. Indeed.
are so happy now. So happy. Anna, calm down. It was just a dream. Are you happy? What a question. Answer me. What is this if not pure bliss? Will you come see me at the officer's race? Of course. I find it such a barbaric thing. You are absolutely right. A parade of vain animals. Just look at the people that take part. Makotin. Kusovlev. Count Ronsky. But the entire court will be there. Anna and I can't miss it. Perhaps, my dear, without me there, you would be free to talk to those you absolutely need to. The only thing I need is my faithful wife by my side. so late. It's the big race tomorrow and there's many things to prepare. So are you, sir. So, tell me about the preparations for the race. Well, they're always the same. Hooves, harnesses. Is it dangerous? No, there'll be a lap of the track today because the ground is frozen. I'm pregnant. I'm expecting your child. Better this way. Better? What we have between us is no longer a game. Was it ever? I love you. Leave Karenin and be with me. Can I be with you any more than I am now? In plain sight, no more lies. How? Tell him the truth. When he finds out, he'll have to grant you your freedom. You don't know him. I warned you. I'm about to become High Commissioner. I don't intend to expose my name to dishonor. His name. The only thing he cares about. Let's run away. No, I, I'd be ruining everything. It's just you and me. Who else is there? So you, Mother, look, I found a four-leaf clover. Beautiful. Well done, my darling. Uh, say hello to the Count. Hello, Count. Hello. Are you going to come and see me win the race tomorrow? I'll let you have a ride on my horse after if you want. No, my father says it's just a parade of vain animals. <laughs> Your father's right. Wait for me with Anushka. I won't be long. I know you hate lying. Let me handle things, please. What I hate is seeing you unhappy. Unhappy? Is a starving person who's been fed unhappy? Here's my happy.
back to Moscow soon. Hmm. When you marry. I won't marry. Then I won't come back. I'll marry just for that then. <laughs> Levin will still be waiting for you. I always thought you were made for each other. We'll never know now. Kostya. All right, Ready. go. Ready. Who will I catch? I'm here. Who will I catch? I'm right here. I'm, I'm here, Uncle Kostya. Watch it, Kostya. Who's here? Ah, I got one. I got one. <laughs> Feels like yesterday that we were playing here. Has your parents looked on? That's right. Me, you, and my sister. Come on. Let's have some tea. One, two. Right, go. And what about the estate? How's the harvest? I'm right here. Well, it hasn't rained for months. But I have big plans. My peasants have suggested a new way of organizing work to me. Interesting. I'm going to write a book on it, too. Well, let me explain. Until now, what we've had was... Kitty is back from Germany. She's on her way back here. That's why you ask me here. Are you still angry with her? I proposed to her and she turned me down. That was her right. It's late. Say goodbye to the children for me. Give her a second chance, Kostya. I cannot. Yes, you can. You must. How would I raise my children without giving things a second chance? Haven't you ever been mistaken, Kostya? She was confused. She'd been seeing Vronsky every day. You vanished months before. Of course she turned you down. That doesn't prove anything. Why do you torment me? It's as if someone lost their son and, and people told them how beautiful he was. How happy they could have been. But he's dead. Dead. You still love her. I won't come to see you if that's what you were hoping. Igor. I had thought that I had found a kind of peace, but just hearing Kitty's name spoken aloud had been enough to make me feel as unhappy and humiliated as the day she rejected me. I promised myself that I would never see her again. My dislike of her is mutual. No. There's no sweeter horse than Fru Fru. <laughs> you put too much passion into things. I've always told you that. That can never be too much. Precisely what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm worried about you, Alexei. This isn't our first race, Mother. Either for Mina or for Fru Fru, even with the snow. I'm worried about another animal that has your favors. I know that you want to refuse a promotion, simply to stay close to her. I shall decide on my career. No. Not while you're living off me. Are you blackmailing me? Don't give me that look. Smile. They're looking at us. An affair with a woman from high society provides the finishing touch to a young man with your ambitions. But this is starting to look like a desperate passion. It doesn't suit you. It has to end. Anna is more precious to me than life itself. I have to go now. Wish me victory. There is no hurry. The obstacles don't call her back. And don't fuck her. Let her decide. 
One last thing. All thoughts. Leave them behind. Alexei, better hurry up or you'll be late at the start, as well as at the finish. Good girl, good girl. Colonel, aren't you competing, Karedin? My race is a much more difficult one. Well, we better take our seats. Excuse us. Now, let's see. Ah, oh, here are our seats. I'll quickly say hello to the general. General, Excellent so good to see you. Ready. When did you come back? Take heart. Keeping your eyes low will betray you as much as if you kept staring at him. So the Black Sea did you well. Wonderful. Bad. Yes. Here, you'll see him better. Is he injured? He is not. Her spine is broken. How, 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 how did this happen? You were too low in the saddle too soon. You didn't move with her.
Anna? This is the second time that you've acted in an unseemly manner. I'd ask you not to behave in a way to attract gossip. Nothing will harm my nomination more than that. Please, promise me not to do it again. I can't. I listen to you. And I think of him. I love him. I'm his mistress. And I'm expecting his child. I cannot bear you. I'm afraid of you. I hate you. I'm going to him now. You can do with me what you want. He knows everything now. About the child, too? Everything. What did he say? I only care about what you say. I say that you were right. You did right. Now he knows that you're mine, that you're carrying my child, and that you want to live with me. You'll opt for a divorce, you'll see. You really think so? The alternative is to challenge me to a duel, and in that case, I'd be happy to kill him. For you. And... Is there a usual? He'll let you have him. He doesn't love him. Go back there, take your things, and come here. We'll be happy. Please. Yes, madam. See to Sarah bag? Yes. Where do you think you're going? Things cannot go on like this, Alexei. It's come to a point where we want to get divorced. Nobody has the right to shut up the bond so you and I do County can't be destroyed on a whim. A whim? Yes. Or rather not. Because of a crime committed by one of the spouses. You. You've stifled me for eight years now. You never once saw me as a living woman. As a woman in need of love. I forced myself to love you. And I put my love on my son when I could no longer love you. But I cannot fool myself. I'm alive. I'm not guilty. I need to love and live. You have two possibilities. You can either run away with that man or stay in this home with your husband and son. You can't take Sarah from me. You don't love him. You're only doing it to torment me. <laughs> tormenting you? What about you? You're not tormenting me? I married you to help your family. I found a position for your brother. I have always treated you with respect. And now you... You want me to agree to be unhappy. So you and he can amuse ourselves. If you stay in this house, I shall... I insist. I will never see that man. And whatever your relationship may be, that no one... Mama, I asked Anushka, but she doesn't know. Where are we going? The choice is yours. Let's go have some tea. With lots of sugar. All right? Unfortunately, Excellency, it was too much for your wife. What? Let's cover her up. No, Corinne. I'm alive. No. You're right, madam. Yes. 
Where's my husband? At the council. He'll be back after dinner. Anushka. To the Count. Hurry. Mama, I heard you scream. Oh, I just had a bad dream. Mothers have them too? Oh? The news that Anna was expecting Vronsky's child had reached me. Engrossed in the work in the fields and my plans for reform, I felt safe. Safe from the tumultuous passion of city life. But when I saw her, that delusion vanished. I loved Kitty more than life itself. Go! husband wasn't at home. He forgot a folder. How could I have known that? It's fine. Don't worry. It doesn't matter. Tell me about yourself. How are you feeling? What took you so long? I was part of the Prince of Sweden's escort. He... He wanted to go to the opera. Uh, was that friend of yours there? That Therese. Yes, she was there. She's an actress. But why should it matter? You men can be disgusting. That's a little unfair, isn't it? What do I know of what you do? Anna. You don't believe in me anymore? When you're with me, I do. When you're with others, I don't know. That's because of the absurd compromise your husband has imposed on us. I'd rather he challenge me to a duel. A duel? A duel requires feelings. My husband's a machine. I'd be dead or he would, but the situation would be resolved. And it will be soon resolved anyway. Yes. You'll be having the baby and then what? We'll carry on like this. Seeing each other in secret, like thieves. I know I'm going to die. What? It's the best thing that could happen. You'll all be free. You, my husband, my son, our child. Free? That's absurd. I felt the baby. Kicks on. We had an agreement, you and I. You promised not to cause a scandal. And now you receive your lover here? In my own home? It was an accident. I, I just needed to... Oh, I can easily imagine why a woman needs to see her lover. Why must you insult me? It's not an insult to call a thief a thief. You're cruel. Cruel? I gave you a choice. You could go with him or stay in my home. 
In return, I didn't ask you to leave him, only to respect convention. You decided to stay. And now you call me cruel. Convention, reputation, that, that's all you care about. You'd also care about it if you, if you weren't such a slut. You promised to love me, to be faithful, before men and before God. And now you betray me, here. In our home. No one knows better than I how contemptible my situation is. A situation that will be soon ending. I'm leaving for Moscow. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. I'll divorce you. This will no longer be your home. And my son? He will stay with his father. No, please let me have Seriosha. You don't love him. You're right. Reminds me of you. But he has to be with me. Play here in the garden. Good. Your letters told the truth. You look good. Huh? I thought I would be curing the sick in Germany, but instead they cured me. Don't you think about Vronsky anymore? I do. But it doesn't hurt now. That's good. Good. Because Mother must be dying to introduce you to someone else. I'm not interested in that game anymore. Levin was here today. I talked to him about you. Was I wrong to? What did he say? That doesn't matter. But I'm convinced that he still loves you. What about you? What do you feel for him? I don't know. I no longer trust what I feel. That's a good thing. If I were to trust my feelings, I'd marry again my husband on even days, <laughs> and then abandon him on odd ones. Hey, get down, down, down. You just need to see each other again, and then whatever happens, happens. I can't expect him to propose to me again. You sound just like him. You're made for each other. Let me handle it. I'll... I'll send him a note right away. I'll write to say that we need a lady's saddle and that I would like him to bring us one personally. Say there's no reply. It's only a saddle. You could take it to her, sir. Well, that's what you get when you teach your servants to read. They no longer know their place. I'm just saying what your mother would say. I can't expect Kitty to turn to me just because she couldn't marry the man she wanted. Why don't you let her be the judge of that? We women can be wrong too, can't we? Be as wrong as you want. I'm not playing the role of the man who forgives her man who deigns to give her his love. Well, all I say is this. You should do less thinking and get yourself married. Agafia, pack my bags, I'm leaving. Where to? France, then England. Agricultural work there is organized differently. I have to find out about it for my book. Ah, your book? Yes. It's important. It'll change the lives of all the peasants in Russia. It will change theirs, maybe. But yours will still be the same. Here's your saddle, madam. No message from Levin? No message. Thank you.
Let's go back to the city. That's good, Mum. That's good. Another push. 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 That's right. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. She'll be fine. It's the same when you were born, you know. You can't know. You weren't there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Call the doctor. I know she can. I know she can. Send a telegram to Corinne in Moscow. Right. I am dying. I pray that you come. I pray you come. I shall. I shall die more peacefully with your forgiveness. Go. It's the last. Now, there are two possible ways of going about a divorce. Uh, the first is based on an agreement concerning the respective faults. Respective? But I'm not the one at fault. Uh, that leaves us the second option, then. One of the spouses is recognized as being the sole guilty party. These were written by my wife. They're proof that she's been unfaithful to me. You know that the spouse recognizes the guilty party is uh, not eligible to marry again. Meaning that my wife won't be able to marry her lover after the divorce. Exactly. That's what I want. It's a girl, madam. A beautiful little girl. Let us see the baby. She's dying. She's lost a lot of blood. She won't survive. What do you want to call her? Anna. Today one dies, and one is born. Man, I don't want to disturb you. Let me get straight to the point. I wanted to ask you to put in a good word for me with the new minister. You know, Steve, there's something you need to know. Can I get you gentlemen anything? I can't believe my sister could have. There has to be some misunderstanding. None at all. She admitted everything. Just a second. Let's not get carried away. <sighs> I'm not the least bit carried away. Listen. Before you do anything, please, talk to my wife. To what purpose? Please, Dolly's... It's been decided. I'm going to proceed with the divorce. Dolly's very fond of Anna and of you, too. This is not a matter of being fond of us. Come home with me. Have dinner with us. In God's name, I beg you. I had some beautiful fresh caviar delivered today. The flavor will be exquisite. The children will be so happy to see you.
an urgent telegram for His Excellency Karenin. This year in Paris, many people are wearing blue jackets with high collars, like this one, or this one even. Now, they're very stylish. You decide. They're all the same to me. Enough is very enough. well. You won't be disappointed. I don't understand. Ask your husband. He orders the most expensive clothes, has them put on his account, and never comes to pay. I'm sick of providing credit for that peacock. I'm so sorry, Mr. Lucian. Ask your I, children. I really didn't know. Put the clothes down. Of course. Bastien, take off the coat. Give me the coat. I'll pay the lady's bill. Uncle Costia! Uncle Costia! Costia. Certainly, Prince Levin. First, apologize to the princess and the children for your speech concerning their father. Please accept my apologies. <clears throat> Be careful, Tavia. I really don't know how to thank you, Kostya. I'm the one who owes you an apology. Sending you that saddle without a message? No, I was wrong to ask. Kitty too didn't want me to force your hand. And what are you doing in Moscow? I'm just passing through. I'm taking the midnight train to Paris. Then come and have dinner with us. To pay you back. At least in part. I'm leaving. Eat with us, Kostya. At midnight, you'll be on the train. The children will be so happy to play with you. Come on. Come on. Help me, Tanya. Oh, good girl. Madam. Madam. Your son, as you asked. Shall I take the baby? No, leave her. Do I scare you? You're a brave boy. This is your sister, Anna. Will you love her? Dear, what a surprise. What are you doing Steve, here? Huh? What you should be doing. We need to talk about the money you spent. Certainly, but not now. May I take your cancer? Something terrible has happened. That's why I've invited Corinne. What's wrong? Just a moment. Costia, please come. I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. Constantine Levin, Alexei Corinne. Two men of culture like you are bound to find plenty to talk about. Alexei, what a uh, pleasure. Excuse us for a second. Please, help yourselves. What happened? Karenin wants to divorce Anna. What? Apparently she's been unfaithful to him. Unfaithful? It's unthinkable, I know. Have you any idea what the consequences would be? Poor Saryosha. Poor Anna and poor us! If Karenin divorces my sister, whose support will we be able to count on? Please talk to him. Do it for me. 
I'll do it for Anna. Spring has come early this year, don't you agree? I wouldn't know. I'm not interested in meteorology. Alexei, <sighs> may I have a word with you? Yes. Excuse me, Kostya. Thank you, Master, for me, but say I had to leave. Certainly, sir. Uncle Kostya, where did you vanish to? We were waiting for you. Come and play. I have to leave, Daniel. This way, we're all upstairs. Here. Yep. Fine. But only five minutes, all right? Okay. decided to leave my husband. He had betrayed me, misled me. Anna was the one who brought me back to my senses. I forgave, and now- You can forgive someone who wants to be forgiven, not somebody who desires her own right. And what about Seriosha? Can't you think of him? Ask Anna, not me. What, what will happen to her? Forgive me for disturbing you. I shall go now. Please say goodbye to your husband for me. And let him know I'll put in a good word for him. Excellency Karenin, an urgent telegram. Please. I'll be taking the first train tomorrow. State now? It's desperate, sir. She 
just dying. The doctor says that there's no hope. Allow me to stay. I beg you. Leave us now, please, gentlemen. Morphine. Hurry, morphine. to be worthy of your expectations. I'll have the apartments in the East Wing prepared for you. It's the sunniest part of the palace. Thank you, but after the wedding, Kitty and I will live on my estate. In the country? My peasants need me. So be it. As the Bible says, she will leave her father and mother, and the two will be one. 
<laughs> when? I, I mean, we would like to give you our blessing and announce the engagement and the wedding. When? If it were my choice, tomorrow. mon <laughs> cher. <laughs> That's nonsense. In that case, next week? <laughs> the boy must be mad. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, uh, the trousseau. Trousseau. Oh, yeah, exactly. We'll take care of it. Come on, my dear. We have to look for the uh, linen tablecloths first. First of all. You're trapped, my boy. So, you don't mind a Christian wedding? I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't feel guilty in relation to God. To man, to women, yes, but, but not to God. If anything, he's guilty in relation to me. May I know why? My parents died when I was young. My brother abandoned me, and and if it weren't for chance, I wouldn't be about to marry the woman I've always loved. Chance. Don't try telling me that's God's work, and that I should be grateful, and so on and so forth. I would never dare. Marriage could be the most painful experience of your life. In fact, it will no doubt be just that. It means dying and being reborn in the flesh of another. Have you thought about that? You'll no longer know where the border lies between you and your wife, what she wants and what you want. Marriage is such an uncertain, uncomfortable and dangerous journey that if God didn't accompany us, I would wish it on no one. The lady still is in grave danger, but she has survived the night, so there is hope. Come. I need to talk to you. surprise you if I admit that I hated you and my wife. When I received the telegram, I wished that Anna would die. Have you ever felt compassion for someone? Genuine pity? No, I, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> You'd know. One cannot forget it. They always told me to be strong. That things like forgiving and loving were for the weak. It's nonsense. I've never felt as strong, serene, confident, happy. You can make a public mockery of me. I shall never abandon her and I shall never utter a word of recrimination. It is my duty to be with her. I shall be. I think it would be wiser if you left now. If she wants to see you, I'll let you know.
back, sir. Would you like lunch? love and the help of the Lord. God eternal who has brought together those who were apart. Constantine and Katarina. God has brought us together. Inspiring them to do work God a chance. Why would God have done it? And if it were chance, with no purpose? What if Kitty is asking herself these questions too? And your servant Katarina and confirm their union in faith and in harmony and in truth and in love. Is your mistress awake? Yes, Excellency. She's with Princess Verskaya. He's going off to a war in which he could die. It's your right to at least meet with him first. I no longer have the right. Not anymore. My husband has been so kind. But be honest. You. Would you like to see Vronsky one last time? I don't want to. My husband will decide. I will ask nothing of him. Excellency. Princess. I haven't seen you for so long. I've been devoting myself to my wife. You're a very surprising husband. How's my darling? Better, I think. You're looking pale. It's my fault. I made her talk too much. I should go. 
see you soon, Anna. Excellency? Betty, stop. I don't want to hide anything from you. Betty told me that Count Vronsky wishes to call on us before leaving for the front. I told her that I can't receive him. No. You said that the decision was your husband's I to... I cannot receive him. And it has nothing to do with... I just don't want to. All right. Farewell, my darling. Well, I also think there's no need for Count Ronsky to come I here. I already said that. You don't have to repeat it. No need for a man to come and say goodbye to the woman he loves. Anna. Let's not talk about it. Well, they, they told me the wet nurse doesn't have enough milk. I asked a nurse. The doctors wouldn't allow me to. Now you criticize me? I'm not criticizing you. You are criticizing me. You are. Oh, what a nice time. Forgive me, I'm oversensitive, I'm being unfair. Please, just, just go now. We can't go on like this. difficult. Your peasants adore you. Well, first I try to impose my ideas on them, and I learn to listen to them. Is that what your book's about? Watch out. Coming through. Hello, sir. Oh, what about these, ma'am? Where will they go? In the attic. Yes, ma'am. And get rid of the curtains. We use them for rags. They have to be changed. Maria, can you give me a hand over here? What's going on? Well, your study wasn't very bright, so I thought I'd move it to the green living room. But where could I put the green living room? Where the guest room was. We'll do a whole new wing for them, because Dolly has so many children. They'll need space, won't they? I like my study where it was. Are you angry? No. It's just that we've been away half a day and I found this. If I'm away a whole day, what will you do? Demolish the house? I just wanted to surprise you. Of course, indeed. It's quite a surprise. Sorry. You see, this is my home. I grew up here. Shall I have everything put back the way it was? always bring such joy. Isn't that true? A joy. <laughs> you look well. Your hair, too, suits you. I heard that Corinne is no longer seeking a divorce. That's good, isn't it? Anna? I can't live with them anymore. I don't love him. I've never loved him. I can't stand being near him anymore. His face, his hands make me sick. I can't help it. Don't say that. He has forgiven you. He's a good man. A good man. 
that's what our aunt said too, and she forced me to marry him. What did I know? I wasn't even 20. But she said, he's a good man. He will provide for you and your brother. And here I am, the prisoner of his kind. he's forgiven me. He's now the ruler of my life. Can I say what I think? You married without love. That was a mistake. But now the question is, do you wish to carry on living with your husband? Does he wish that? I've no idea. You've just told me you can't bear him anymore. Yourself. He's tormenting himself. What's the sense in it? <laughs> Perhaps a divorce could solve everything. I'll talk to her. You'll see. Disturbing you? What do you need? I need to talk to you about my sister and your situation. That's all I can think about. I decided to forget to begin a new life, but that's impossible. Now I would just like to know what Anna wants and go along with that. I'm afraid she herself may not know. What's to be done then? Well, uh, you'll need to decide how to put an end to this state of affairs. Yes. A divorce. Yes. What other alternatives are there. Deep down, it's simple. Simple. Do you think it's simple to decide what to do with my son? To whom is he going to go? To Anna as a remnant of her former marriage? Are they going to take care of him? To me? That would seem like revenge, don't you think? And once he leaves her, because he will leave her, Oh, we're responsible for her ruin. Oh. Listen, you're agitated now, but if That's you all right. I'm sorry? I'll agree to a divorce. I'll assume my share of the guilt. Like that, Anna will be able to remarry. And, and Seriosha. I don't want to use him against her anymore. I'll... And I can take him with her. Look at the state of this place. Not all misfortunes are meant to harm us. What do you mean? The pistol shot that could have killed you saved you from that insane passion. It's certainly a good thing for Russia. In Tashkent, we need brave officers like you. Thank you, General. Alexei! Countess? General? What is it, Betsy? Speak freely. Karenin is agreeing to a divorce. 
What are you saying? Steve told me. Now you can see Anna. You can be with her. Uh, Alexei! If you go back to that woman, no more allowance. Steve says your husband agreed to a divorce and assumes his share of the guilt. We'll be able to marry. I don't want a divorce. But my husband isn't to blame. I don't want him to sacrifice himself for me. I couldn't bear that. I have you. I don't need anything else. And sorry, Yosha. your homework. Go finish it. I just wanted you to turn around. How is your book going? Are you pleased with it? I will be, if it convinces landowners like me to listen to their peasants. Why don't you talk to me about it? I'd like to hear your ideas. I bore you. If I fall asleep, just stop. Work, peasants, land, those aren't things worthy of my kitty. So, a telegram. news? No. It's a, it's a business problem. I have to go to Moscow. I won't be away for long. Can I come with you? Oh, no. No, no. There's no need to tire yourself. So does 
the rent. More tenants, oh, more come rent. Come on, you can't be serious. Ugh. Oh, Excellency. Is he in his room? He hasn't been out for weeks now. Excuse me? There's the back rent. Hello, sir. Oi, move it. Nikolai, it's me, your brother. What's wrong? Are you feeling sick? You can at least air this place. The air's more pure here than in the homes you frequent. <coughs> Pay your respects to Maria. There isn't a lady at court worthy of her. <coughs> so, what do you want? You wrote to me. You were dying. You... Who asked you to get involved? Go back to that dump of a brothel, you slut! <laughs> Worthy of me? That it would tie me needlessly? Katie, please. What am I for you? What do you mean? Stop answering me with another question. You're my life. No. Not when you won't place your trust in me as I am. Not as long as your dreams matter more to you than we do. Not as long as you won't let me into that room. Kitty. Hello, Nikolai. Maybe you don't remember me. I'm Kitty. Prince Shabatsky's youngest daughter? What's a little princess doing here? I'm your brother's wife. He's always been craftier than me. Wait before you say that. It's been a long time since you first knew me. sheets and water for bath. I saw there was a store downstairs. Get some fresh linen, disinfectant and fruit. Okay. Since you know all about books, help me tidy them up. That way I can wash the floor. <laughs> Don't touch my books. Be quiet. In your condition, it's best not to speak. Forgive me? There's no need. Just remember we are one now. Darling. Hmm? Hmm? 
Anushka. Change your please. And I'll come to put her to bed for a nap. I love it, Lee. You're right. I feel like I've been born again. I'm so glad. I, on the other hand, would like to be unhappy. Not too much, just a little. Why? For what I've done to my husband, to my son, to your career. But nothing. I feel happy. Unforgivably happy. Thinking of taking up an old passion of mine again. Painting. I show promise as a young man, you know. All right, but on one condition. You'll have only one model. Have you finished? No, but I'm stopping there. You can't really see the defects for now, but if I carry on, they will become apparent. It looks very beautiful to me. Well, that's thanks to the model. <sighs> what do you say if... What? If we go back. To St. Petersburg. You know, there are a few things I could sort out that I've left unfinished. Of course. I could see Seriosha again. And the theater. I so want to go back to the theater. Yes. Put them in the attic. This lamp, no. I never liked it. Mm, yes. Countess, when will Mama be back? I asked my father, but he didn't answer. You're going to have to be brave, my dear. Your mother won't be coming back.
Your mother is dead. I'm so sorry. brother will be wondering where we are. Don't count on it. He's convinced he never needs anyone. He reminds me of someone. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Can I get you? Uh, two ounces of strawberries, please. Certainly. The size is not true. He wrote to you to bring you here. Not him, his mistress. Thank you. Thank you. But he didn't send you away. Because you arrived. Deep down, he's fond of you. Not in the least. When our parents died, he took everything to come here to the city. He wanted to write to help the oppressed. Meanwhile, he left me in the country with the servants. I was just a boy, and and he was... He was everything to me. You know, sometimes in following an ideal, you can forget the people who are at your side. Say that. I found some strawberries. Don't you want to have some? You've been a blessing. But it's over for me now. Would you like me to send for a priest to confess and take communion? I can't. I don't believe in it. I was looking at him, trying to understand what he was seeing. I couldn't. Death remained a hideous and frightening mystery for me. But for the first time in my life, I didn't feel alone. with 
that painting. The mistress is very fond of it. I told you to be careful, you clumsy fool. begging you for permission to see my son. I'm writing to you rather than to my husband. I don't wish to make that generous man suffer by reminding him of me. I believe I can't deny her that. Alexei, dear, you don't see evil in anyone. This is genuine cruelty in relation to you. But she's his mother. So why did she abandon him? And think of Seriosha. He believes that she's dead. He prays for her, and that's the best thing for him. Believe me, this could only bring more suffering for you and your son. Will you allow me to reply with refusal? For the good of Seriosha. Anushka, my coat. But I never believed. Mm, you're thinner. H and I'm taller, too. Why are you crying? For joy. I cry for joy. <laughs> Come on. It's time to get dressed now. What shall I put on you? I can dress myself, you know. Look. Let me help no, you. No, no, no. I'm big now. <sighs> His Excellency went out for an early breakfast, but he could be back at any moment now. It's, it's best that he doesn't find you. Don't go yet. Listen to me. I can't stay now. Believe me, you have to 
be strong. That's what Countess have never told me to. Madam, please. I love you. And your father does too. When you're grown up, you'll judge for yourself. Anushka? Yes, madam? Prepare a bath for me. And then do my hair. I'm going out tonight with the Count. I'm sorry, Alexei, dear. Receiving Anna would put me in a very embarrassing position. Your receptions, you have women who go out and about with any man but their husband. There's a difference between having a lover and ruining yourself for him. If she had at least divorced from Karenin, and you hadn't left the army... I love her. I'd do it all again. I know you don't have Kopech to your name, and that no one dares to give you credit. Go back to Moscow. Talk to your mother. Only she can help you. You, though, will always be welcome here. Never without Anna. Good evening. Count Vronsky. Welcome back, sir. Dressed so elegantly. For you. Is something wrong? No. no everything's fine. How about you? Has Karenin answered your letter? He won't let me see Seryozha. What? But he was ready to entrust him Enough to us. Enough talk of all that. Will you take me to the theatre? Wait, let, let's talk about your son. If you agree to a divorce, can you have him back? A divorce? Yes, it, it could be the most practical solution. Practical? 
Why do you think I did all this? Why change homes, change husbands, change lives? I did it for you. Only for you. I don't want anything else. Take me to the theater. Listen to me. It's... It's unwise to show yourself in public. I don't want you to suffer or feel humiliated. Do you still love me? What a question, Answer Anna. me. Do you still love me? How can you doubt you that I... love me anymore. Of course I love you. You're ashamed of me. I'm concerned about you, about us. I don't regret anything. I, for one, don't deny anything. I abandoned everything for you. The court, the army. I don't have a kopeck left. You don't get it. My son hates me. I saw him. He hates me. You said Karenin wasn't giving you permission to see him. I went to the house. I talked to him. He hates me. What are you saying? He's right. I betrayed him for you. I gave you everything. Everything. Why don't you love me the way I love you? I love you, Anna! <laughs> I love you. What else do I have to do to prove it to you? daughter will love these. What makes you think it's a girl? Well, by the shape of your belly. It's obvious. Six children and she was always right. <laughs> well, I can tell it's a boy. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? A visitor. His Excellency Karenin's wife. Tell her that we're not receiving today, but she could leave a message if she likes. No, wait. She must be here for me. Perhaps she needs help. Help? After all the harm that she's done. She saved my marriage. your help. Karenin's not allowing me to see my son. I heard that you refused a divorce. It wouldn't have solved anything. Vronsky will never be Seryozha's father. Seryozha can only hate him and me. And I'll only ever feel guilty towards both. But it would have allowed Vronsky to marry you. To give his name to your daughter and to the other children you'll have. We won't have others. I saw a doctor. You mean that you... I had no choice. You understand? How can I hold on to him? I have to be beautiful. He loves me as, as long as he loves me. Anna. 
No one is worthy of such a sacrifice. Vronsky is. But how can he return such love? Which man could? But I'm happy. I just... I just like to have them both. Vronsky and my son. I'll talk to Corinne. I'll try to persuade him to at least let you see your son when you want. Oh, Kitty. Pregnancy suits you. Thank you, Anna. That's true of every woman. It will be a boy. I think so, too. It's better for his sake. We women may know more, but... We pay a high price, don't we? Is this the lucky man? Constantine Levin. Anna Karenina. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, you're not the only one. He's a handsome man. May he be happy. Even half as happy as Vronsky and I are. Sorry to have kept you. Arriving unannounced, I couldn't expect you to see me right away. Princess Sorokina, my son. Your mother has told me a great deal about you. I'm a subject she tends to favor too much. There's no greater love than that of a mother. When you have children, you'll see. May I speak to you? There is no need. I know everything. I'm leaving now. The princess is going to join me in the country. Join us there. Come without Anna. You'll have everything that you need there. She's lost her soul, her dignity. There's more dignity in her than in certain honored and respected ladies of the court. You're an expert on ladies of the court. I mean, at least she's been sincere, authentic. You sound infatuated with her. What are you saying? You talk about her with such passion. 
I'm not the one here who lost my head over nothing. It's cruel of you to say that. You're the one who started by talking about Anna and Ronsky. I was only talking about Anna. You say you feel sorry for her because you're talking about them both. So you say. Oh, you mean you feel sorry for her despite the fact that Ronsky chose her and not you? How much longer will that man come between us? I wasn't the one who allowed him to do so. So thank you, Anna. If it hadn't have been for her, who knows? Love, what are you doing in the dark? Where have you been? At the officers' club. Jasmine was there. I hadn't seen him for months. How about you? Did you speak with Dolly? Did she intercede for your son? When did you stop loving me? I'm sick of these reproaches, Anna. You Why don't have the right. Why are you lying to right. me? You were at your mother's. You're spying on me now? Why did you go there? She's my mother. Am I not allowed? What about me? I couldn't come with you? I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I didn't think it was important. Dolly can't understand. No one can understand. Not even you. Things will work out. It just takes time. You didn't answer me. Why did you go to your mother's? You can guess why. You beg? You're cruel. How much did Mummy give you? Nothing. She gave me nothing. She asked me to join her in the country, but without you. Why are you telling me? Because you asked me to. Who was she? She? You know. I don't even remember her name. You can't be jealous of every woman. I saw how you looked at her. How? How did I look at her? The way you used to look at me. No. <laughs> Believe me. Saying I'm mad. No, my love. Listen. I'm not Kitty. I'm a woman and not some kind of girl you can deceive and abandon. You're delirious. You, you will not be rid of me. My greatest wish had been to marry Kitty, and that wish had been fulfilled. But I'd made the eternal mistake of all men, the mistake of thinking that to be happy, we just have to make our wishes come true. I'll take the first train to Nizhny Novgorod. I'm joining the Count at his mother's. I'm 
doing the right thing, aren't I? Whatever makes you happy, madam. Happy? Happy? What can make me happy? Life just gets more empty. It's one big lie. We expected so much from our love. Now we hate each other. I no longer satisfy his vanity. And he can only love me because he feels obliged to. be something else, not just a lover starving for his caress, but I can't be, I don't want to be, and my desire disgusts him, and that's what enrages me. And Seriosha, I thought I loved him, and I swapped him for another love. I didn't regret it as long as that love was enough for me. What love? We're thrown into this world only to hate and torment each other. Deep down, we know this. Despite the illusions we invent to try and forget. What makes a family a happy one? That is a mystery that cannot be solved. Logic alone will not bring us peace, or answers, nor allow us to see beyond the grave, beyond the end of all things. Itself that continues in spite of everything. I learned it from the suffering that forces us to grow. Come on. 
The little that I know is something quite simple. So simple that every humble person, every child knows it. to live for our needs, for our passions, for our desires. <laughs> we need to live for good, for truth, for that mysterious God that all things depend on. <laughs> That's why all happy families are alike. Because deep down, happiness is the same for everyone.